I'm gonna stand up here. So one thing there, let's talk, let's point out that here, um, it's not always wrong to grab with the front hand, like you go for here, Penny. But problem is with that, if if Nani had reached over and like snapped down and stepped back, you would have been dragged with him. All right. So when you reach with your front hand, like the how far you're reaching, that's the problem. Like if you catch with the front hand here, it's okay. But if you overreach like you did here, it's easy for him to grab your hand, hold it onto him, and step back. And it's actually going to throw you off balance. You see there, he's just protecting his collar. But I personally would let you have it if you want it with that hand. There you go. And I like the, Okay, so that that's real nice, though. Here, you're going to come in. Watch here. One, two. You're going to grab with the cross collar. You're going to grab with the back hand. There you go. That's... That's the grip you want, right? That's the style you want there. Grabs with the backhand. You sit in a closed guard. I mean, open butterfly guard. So I want to ask, what was your plan here? Why did you sit down into guard? I understand you might be looking at... I mean, you just want to play jiu-jitsu, but whenever you sit to guard, have a plan. One thing I would have liked, because you, you had the cross-collar grip, right? Is that what you get? Okay, you have the cross-collar grip. You have the same side sleeve. This is your opportunity. This is a missed opportunity, man. When you sit to guard here, you should be immediately kicking, kicking him over. Uh, see, Nani's right, it'd be your left. And the reason is because that side is dominated. You look, you have the sleeve, you have the cross collar, you have the shoulder and the arm. When you sit guard, you should have him pulling him, kicking the legs over your shoulder so he goes for a, so he goes launched. See, and it looks like you kind of pulled a little bit, but then you kind of settled back in. It should have been part of the sit, right? You almost should have threw yourself underneath him. And by the time you're going for it, it's just too late, right? It looks like you're still going for it. But look, now he's holding your head. He's dominating the position. I mean, he's not talking to much about Nandi here. He's just defending. So Nandi, as a defensive options, I like that you're grabbing the same side collar, same side sleeve, pushing. I know I would like you to push that palm in a little bit. Your arm shouldn't be straight here. You should be kind of bent, pushing the palm. So if you can use this grip from the stand up, you put the palm in. All right, now you got this high shoulder. You're going for the head here. You have the underhook. That's very good. I like the fact that you're putting the weight in your head. You're starting to dance those legs over. Go windshield wiper out. See, I don't like that you put your hip down there. You actually had an opportunity to pass. So when you're up here, you hit. If you would have stayed up here, look. Why put that foot in? Because a moment ago, watch this, watch this. See if I can time this. I can, I can. Step out, one. Here we go, come on, come on. Here we go, look, watch this. Right here. Right, so why, why do you put your Ideally, you see all the space for his foot. So you, when you winch over your foot in, you should always go to hook the foot. Because if you get it, great. If you don't, it is what it is. But you could have been passing here instead of still defending with the half. Still, instead of still dealing with the half guard. I like that. I like what you're doing here, Penny. I like that you have, they're trying to drive the hand in. Your elbow's a bit exposed, but it's better than just having your arm out. I like that. Stay on your side. Now he's putting pressure on the shoulder. He's dropping the knee here. Okay, so one thing here. Um, so, Penny, you're doing a good job of staying on your side here, right? Really good work. You're staying on side. You're grabbing your foot here. I don't know why. I'd like to see what you want to establish with it. Um, Ideally from your foot right now because he's driving so far into you, you could have underhooked his leg here and started tipping him over the shoulder, right? Because he has an underhook on that side. So if you had actually grabbed his leg with your left hand and trapped his arm with your right arm, you actually probably could have brought him over you, right, to, uh, to this side over here. Potentially. I'm not saying definitely, but with the way he's posturing into you, um, that should be a goal. Yo, what's up, brother? Is it wrong to hip switch at this point? That's me. Well, yeah, so he's going to have an opportunity to hip switch, right? So if Nandi wanted a hip switch here, which would be a solid idea, he would actually have to step into him a little bit, right? Because uh, Penny's a little on his side right now. I don't like that. So if I would, if you wanted a hip switch here, Pernicious, again, it is a good idea. You would step your foot from here to here. This one comes out because then your knee and quad 
would actually be pushing the leg over while the and then when you hip switch your knee's going to almost come underneath them and then this leg's going to come out right so that would be the opportunity to hip switch and that is what i want to tell nandi while you're doing this pressure downward here and you're working on this floating pass concept which is beautiful i like it a lot i'm a big fan I do it a lot myself I would like your hips to walk into them sometimes to throw the leg over, right? So that's what's happening. You're allowing not, you're allowing Penny to be too much on his side to get some of those options off. See, you see how you see right here. So the hip switch would have been difficult there, but look, now here's another missed opportunity, Nandi. You push the leg down nicely, you step over, and you're gonna turn. Boom, right? So right here, when you turn, you're coming into a reverse wrestler pass. I would have actually liked this his elbow to come to the ground and either hook the arm, or even if better, if you could have weaved it inside here under the arm. Uh, both options would have better since your head's already on this uh, on this plane, right? So you kind of already lost the plane of pressure, right? So if you're gonna be facing this way, you might as well just drop into the reverse wrestler pass, um, and then put the hand put this hand on the knee so he couldn't explode and turn you over potentially. And pernicious, what's up? <laughs> cross face isn't a bad idea though. All right, I like the use the cross face to bring your head back in. I like that. Looking for the collar. Oh, opening it up, turning him. So if you have this grip here and you're turning his head away, why isn't this hand grabbing the leg? All right, so that's one thing you want to think about. Uh, in the, with this grip here, that frees this hand up to start controlling his leg. All right, so I would like something in that range. So if you have this here and you're turning your elbow out and you're making them flattened out, which is what you've done, you're doing a good job, but now we need to add the second hand in here. That has to be dealing with the leg here so you can start clearing yours out. Hey, well, the best place to post videos on your Discord. I took one. Oh, yeah, put it on the Discord on Thursdays. It's great. Um, uh, I mean, I'm, Discord, yeah, Discord does solid qualities, right? Yeah, just throw it on the Discord and we'll do it. I'll definitely do it Thursday, if not before that. Oh, I like the way you're adjusting the grip there. Good work. There we go. Now we're grabbing the pants. But yeah, one on the inside. Looking to control. Again, open this elbow. You're a little worried about the cross face here, but who cares? It's It's going to be there. Oh, he pushes your head up. Yeah, he pushes, it's fine. Just keep looking away from it. Keep looking down towards his feet. Yeah, get the knee free. Good. Hmm. Ideally, you're here. You should be coming back into side control. Let's explain why. Looking to control there. And see, you see the our leg is still in there. He's able to turn around in you. So let's talk about that a little bit. I mean, you still get the pass, and it's fine in the end. Um, so in the beginning, his outside leg is over your bottom leg, and you go to the mouth, and that's correct. But he's going to switch it back. So you kind of have to be a little sensitive at this moment, right? So you feel that switch back. Here would be pop like here, if I were you, I would have uh, popped up on my foot, the, let's see, your left, right leg, right? So I would have put this foot out to put my weight on that foot here and then I would have tried to slide my knee into like a knee slice position because he switched his foot. All right, so when someone is controlling with the outside leg, yes, it's always easy to take the mount, but when someone switches to the inside leg, then you wanna come back into going towards side control. Like what you're doing here though. And yeah, I like that you're peeling this elbow out here. Uh, if you actually wanna continue the spider walk, if you spider walk this outward a little bit more towards the elbow, and not so much into the armpit, you'd have a lot more leverage into that option. Good job. So Penny, I like you standing on your side here. You're clear, right? But you don't you don't keep track of him, right? So when he starts to get up, you're kind of already, you, you're like getting there with your hands. I would have liked the moment you clear it would be like a hip escape. You got up into him defensively instead of getting your hip back defensively there so that I think that would have been a better option there so we'll see here one two right because I like the way on your side here you clear them you stay on your side you keep your knees in. you can keep your knees in play see and right here would have been the opportunity to hip escape right so the moment you would sit up put your hands on them hip away 
Why? Because as long as your shoulders are behind your hips, it's easy to put you flat. So if you got here, if you just put your hips behind your shoulders, you'd now be in a, in a triangle this way, and it would be much harder for 90 to flatten you out. At the same time, you would have, you'd have a much better chance of keeping your legs and knees in front of you, between you two. Nani does see, reads, grabs the shoulder, comes around. Good job flattening him out. <clears throat> I like the way you bring in the head above you, Penny. Really nice work. I'm a big fan of that. All right. <clears throat> Not letting the head stay down. That is your opportunity to go for that hip escape, though. All right, so now Nani brought his head back down. It makes it a little harder for you. He's doing a good job. He's keeping that hip in check. Nice. Now, if you want to take the mount, you have to grab this leg here and pull it towards you. Good step over here. So let's see, Penny. Here's my issue with this: is realistically, this leg gets cleared. Look how you're look how you're extending this leg. This knee should have come tight to your body as possible. This way, when he steps over, he would have stepped right into your half guard. Ideally, Nandi should have to pull this leg towards him to clear this leg. Because this is actually the leg that's the trouble leg. Alright? That's the one that's a little more dangerous for you. But he steps up. He gets right over. I like the way he gives it that little push. Nice high mount, Nandi. I like that. Knees into the shoulders. It's time for you to squirrel a little bit, Penny. Get those hips to hips. You see how far your hips are? It's going to be real hard to defend it. <clears throat> Hold it on to the head here. Let's see what you're going to do. Oh, there we go. Oh, I like the form across Penny. Good work there. Come on, keep that idea going. There you go. Both hands on one hip. Good. You're starting to regain some. Uh, yeah, you've regained a lot of ground here. Nice. Cross the hip. I like it. Nandi's trying to flatten you out here, but you, yep, because you're trying to come out, you get the half guard. Uh, let's see, Nandi from this position here, right? One, two. You come out, you get caught in half guard. So one thing I would like from you, because so Penny's doing a good job of framing out your hip here, right? We have that arm coming across. He's stopping a lot of movement. This hand here that's controlling the collar, I don't think it's going to have the effect you want. I don't think because you, you've been using it so well to turn him to turn his head to flatten him out. But now your body's on this side, so really it's not going to be possible for you to use this side arm to flatten him out this way. All right, you see how I'm saying that? It's going to be a little bit difficult. What you could be doing with this arm to, I think, be more effective is actually you see his framework here. You want to get under the elbow of the arm that's on top. If you can get under the elbow and behind it, you could be potentially taking the back. Um, and I think that would be a little bit of a better option, a little more function for that arm. Right, because here you can just see your knuckles are on the ground. You're pinning it, but you can't really you can't really turn his head towards you right now. You can, you're not going to flatten him out with that. That's the elbow you want, right? Seems like he's halfway to a paper cutter. Yeah, he's oh, it seems like he's always kind of working it to uh, paper cutter be. But paper cutter be the other way. He's more closer to a baseball bat choke, right? Because baseball bat same side. There you go, trying to fly him out, trying to get the knee free. Nice rollover. Did he get the triangle? Nice expl Nice coming out of that, Penny. All right, let's get it. Stay on top. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go away, Penny. Don't go away. You cleared. Stay in. Dominate the legs. Back and forth. Yeah, grab, go for those feet, man. Go for the feet. That's what I want to see. Watch that overextension, Nandi. You can be on barred out of something like that. When he comes in, Nandi, right here, I'd like to see these hooks a little more active, right? Maybe get a hook around here. Maybe give him a little push. Off balance him a little bit. You're doing a good job of kind of making him worry about what you're doing, which, Penny, you're giving that a little bit too much respect. I'd like to see you grabbing those pant legs, picking the, or even like hooking the feet, picking them up, something to put Nandi on his back. Um, I think you're a little too tall at this moment. All right? Butt scoot buggy. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're a little too tall. I'd like you a little lower. Right? During this exchange here, there is no... Re like, you see how you're, you're having to tilt your head forward and body forward? You're pulling yourself off balance. So at this moment here, 
if Nandi had grabbed this shoulder and yanked and scooted, you'd be off balance. Um, so exactly, you see Fisty saying there, control his feet. So to do that effectively, what I'd actually, let's see if we can get a better angle, but I, exactly, here we go. What I'd like you to see you do is actually lower your hip line with your legs, right? I don't wanna see your shoulders come into his feet. I wanna see your hips get lower. Let's see, we'll put your hips out. Oh, let's clear this up a bit. So if you had level changed, and let's see, from here to about here, that means your shoulders would be here to about here. Look how much closer your hands are to his legs. All right, that means your hand, which is here, would actually be down here. So look how, you know what I mean? So, and your head wouldn't be tilting forward. Remember, if your head goes lower than your hips, you're gonna fall forward with a little help, right? And that's weird. We don't wanna deal with that. Uh, so yeah, again, I would like to grab the feet, get low, grab those knees, grab those ankles, pick them up if you can. I dropped my knee. You could do something like that. Something lower, right? You, double pant grips are always fantastic, I agree. Yeah, because if you could drop to knees, grab the pant legs, pinch the knees, go to the side. Here you're allowing Nandi up. Ooh, oh, Nandi. Oh, the guard pull. Oh, no. Ooh, nice turn around a turtle. Let's talk about that a little bit. So one thing I do want to say, Penny, I really, really like is that you're circling. Right? I like that you're circling. I like that you did this. You stepped on the outside of his leg. So even when Nandi's getting up, you're still circling. Really a fan of this, right? Look at the way you keep coming around. And then when Nandi goes to pull guard, you're circling around his legs. Beautiful work. My audio. Oh, you can hear the music. Oh, let me turn that. Okay. Keeps going underwater. Somebody else was saying that earlier. Yeah. Oh man, I hope that doesn't happen on the on the recording part. We'll find out. If it does, I'll have to redo this for these guys. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so Penny, really beautiful job circling around uh, Nandi's guard pull. We are no problems here. Yeah, it's been a few people here, a few people there. I don't know what is going on there. Really strange. So let's see. So what would I have liked to seen from Nandi a little bit more, right? So one thing, I think you're grabbing a little too high high here, Nandi. Like, you see this here? Like, and honestly, with Penny circling, you don't know, and Penny doesn't know, but there is like a really sick arm bar from this position. All right, so I think you're grabbing to it. I'd actually like to see you more grabbing for the knee area um, and then sticking your feet in there to, to trip them, right? We, I know I've know shown you the double uchi. This is a good opportunity to start practicing like that. Grab for the knee, both feet inside, kick them out, get them to step back, and then you can come up with a single leg, all right? Which is you're here, you try to come up for an arm drag on the furthest part of, of, uh, of Penny away from you as possible. So we would have to get a little, like... So, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at the limbs that are closer to you and look at the limbs that are further from you, right? So if you could have stayed, if you could have had the knee, you could have actually come low into the cross ankle pick here. I mean, but that's a little bit more difficult, but you see what I'm saying here, right? This side is more available than this side over here. And like, literally you chose the furthest point from you possible. Um, so I think we need to start looking at closer limbs. Uh, and again, Penny circling away from you is literally circling this limb away from you. So the potential is much better on this side. All right, so let's talk about the up and down. You come up here, you're gonna grab it. You're looking to pull them across you. Again, Penny was doing a good job of circling. Uh, your arm drag's not here. You're, you're kind of like holding both here. You really want it to be under, you want to clear. We've talked about when you really arm drag somebody, it's all about kind of like doing the Daniel Sun wax on wax off. You want to pull and turn. Pull and turn. Instead, you're just pulling and leaning back. You're pulling them past your guard instead of hooking the grip and then turning towards it. I agree. He is a bit forcing it off. I mean, blue belts. <laughs> All right. I like I like your defense here, though. You have the knee in. You throw the you throw the arm bar attempt up there, Nandi. I like you forcing the head away. You come in a turtle. Most important thing when you're in turtle, though, don't let someone connect their hands. All right, that I didn't like. It was too easy for Penny to connect his hands. Penny, great job connecting your hands. <laughs> really good work here. I like your chin to be a little tighter in this part, though. Like you see how your chin's over here on the side and the shoulder, Penny. I want this chin here. I almost want you ear to ear, right? Put that chin into his neck. Get control of Nandi's head, right? So in this turtle position, 
you have control of one side nicely. You have to use your head over here to get control of the other side. And in which case, any rotation you do, any roll, any Granby roll he attempts, you're going to have a much easier time to follow him up. Exactly. He's past the shoulder a little bit too far. By a little too far, way too far. But you still have the hands connected, Penny. So you still have the you still have a good chance. Oh, don't look away. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting a little tighter. All right, here we go. Now we're getting closer. Now we got this tightness. So I'd like to know what you're looking for, Penny. You're getting some movement here. I mean, so let's go back a little bit, maybe. Yeah, let's go back a little bit right here. No, no, no. One more, ten more seconds. So no, I don't like you looking away. This is it. This is your opportunity, Penny. All right, so this is where you kind of lose it. You could have had the back here. So if I were you, I would have dropped this knee right next to the shoulder, in which case, and just keep tight with your arms, right? You could have dropped the shoulder to the floor, his head to the ground. You would have made Nandi look underneath you. So even if he was reaching for your leg, it wouldn't have mattered because as you rotated him over, you would have just had to take this leg out and over, and he would have came right into your lap. You could have had that hook in. And if he had reached for inside your leg, you'd have both hooks in and his arm trapped. Now, Nandi, I don't like reaching between someone's legs when I'm in turtle. It gives them crucifix position. It gives your arm trapped if they're rolling in. If you want to reach, I always try to reach behind the hip line. So if you could have uh, taken your left arm and came around the legs on this side here, or sometimes I'll actually, if the, I mean, Penny's too far in this position, uh, I'll actually reach over and grab the pant leg on top here, right? I'll, uh, Eduardo tells to do things like that. All right, so, and so now what Fisty's talking about controlling the hip line. So if you're not into this rolling mechanic here, ideally, you put this knee next to Penny's other knee and you step your other leg behind the hip line. All right, so that's you getting a little bit of control of the hip line, feeling where he's going, and you're ready to throw those hooks in. All right, but this is, uh, but the position you're in, you're in a rotating back take, right? So you remember, you want to spin them to the, spin them around. But see how you pick them up there? Like that, you would have to drive him down, Penny. Now pick them up. Doing a good job of knee tight there. You see how Penny's knee's coming out here, Nandi? That's a potential for you to get this arm through. Don't like that reach inside. So here's what I was talking about once. Let's go back a little bit. Oh, wrong, wrong. One, two. Step back a little bit. So, so this is oddly an opportunity, Penny. So I don't know if, if, you have, if you've seen this move before. I don't know if I've shown it. Um, this is like a sweet roll right here. So if you had reached this hand here and grabbed the top of the gi pants, because you have control of Penny's arm. All right, so you grab the gi pants. I would control the sleeve on this arm here, right? You look away and extend your arm and put your shoulder to the floor and roll. You would actually roll over Penny. You'd get Penny to come down and you'd kick over and you'd actually end up in side control like a scarf hold, but backwards, right? And it, it's a real nice. Remind me to show you that sweep from this position, all right? Because uh, I kind of feel you can be in turtle a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I agree with Fisty. Turtle position is all about not giving up points. It's not necessarily self-defense position, but it's not about giving up points. It's about giving up. It's about not giving up those points. Um, Tell has made a whole career of it. There you go. There's the rollover. See, you had that. You just missed some connections. You actually do do the rollover. I don't know if it's natural. So right here, if you had actually grabbed Penny's arm, see now you have the, you have the sleeve tight. You're rolling over. Penny, good job getting your hips to the ground. That would have been an opportunity for you to scramble. Did you let his arms get connected? Oh, Penny. Don't let his arms get connected. Good stuff. That's what happens when you go too high. <laughs> yeah, so what he's saying is your hips, when... So, Nandi had your arm, Penny. He dropped his weight, and you kind of just started seesawing over him. So, arms over the shoulders, and you started falling over. And time. Good round, guys. Good round. Love what we're seeing here. A lot of good stuff. Nice things to work on. Again, if you're going to be over the shoulders here, you got to be going for the back roll. You got to be taking the back here. 
right? You spend too much time in this position. And there's that rollover, nice. So again, as you clear here, I wouldn't, don't let him connect his hands. Good stuff. Okay, and you see how not, like this is what we were talking about a moment ago, right? We're talking about if you aren't doing the rollover for the back that I was talking about, look at Nani's position. Knees to knee, leg to step behind. All right, so that's the position you want until you go for the rollover. Get behind them shoulders, not yours. Yeah, so what he's saying is sit further back, right? If you're sitting over him, you gotta be going for the roll to take the back. If you're just controlling here, maybe you're just punching or something, right? Not doing that right now, but you want to do, you want to sit back a little bit. Well, he had the grip of his hands connected, so he could have rolled in for the back to finish to get to improve his position. There's that chance there. All right, but again, anything you want to add, Fisty? They are gonna to get to see it. Read it. But good round, guys. Thanks for sh thanks for bringing it up to us. Very happy, and uh, I'll cut it out and put it on YouTube so you guys can watch. You're right. He waited too long. Yeah, exactly. I, he had the opportunity. He had the grip. He just was in there for way too long, and he for not taking that back. 